What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We have in-house the new OnePlus 8 series that you can see in front of you. We're going to have a whole separate video on the OnePlus 8 Pro. But for now, we're going to go ahead and talk about just the OnePlus 8 itself. It comes in three different colors. That awesome glacial green, interstellar glow, which is unique to just the OnePlus 8, and the Onyx black. I did get the interstellar glow because I thought that was a pretty neat color as I did have the glacial green come in for the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now, one pretty cool thing of note, if you look at the shipping sheet, it actually says Silver Wings is the color variant of that. So something different. I don't know why it's calling it that, but just a random side note there. You do have a 6.55 inch display. You do have that hole punch cutout on this display for your in in-screen camera. Unfortunately, they did away with the pop-up camera from the last generation. It does have a re resolution of 2400 by 1080 with a 402 pixel per inch density. Unfortunately, there is not Quad HD like there is on the Pro series, but that's to come into account when you talk about the price. They had to cut corners somewhere, so that's apparently one of the areas as well as the camera. You are still getting a fluid AMOLED display. However, it is only going to be a 90 hertz panel, not a 120. And you are having those other features like the reading mode, night mode, vibrant effect, yada yada. You're still getting that Snapdragon 8500 processor with the X55 modem. So you are going to get that 5G capability even on the base model. You got Warp Charge 30 fast charging, no wireless charging, a 4300 milliamp hour battery and that three camera arrangement instead of the quad, you are gonna have a 48 megapixel main sensor, a two megapixel macro lens, a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and that is it. So let's go ahead and show you guys what comes in the box. You can see the device right on top here and that awesome color combination, set that aside. In the Pro model, you do get a case in box. There is not one here. You are simply getting those stickers, a little message from the CEO, from Pete Lau. You're getting your charging cable with a USB to USB type C connector. And also your ginormous Warp Charge 30 brick. So let's go ahead and set all this aside for now and take a look at this color combination on this baby. I don't even want to touch it for effects. Let's go look at this. That is definitely one of the most reflective phones I have seen. Definitely going to be a fingerprint magnet. Let's pull off this. All right. And you can see how it does really bend light depending on what angle it's facing. Definitely feels good in hand. It's pretty light actually. You have your sound slider on the side, microphone up top, volume buttons on the left, USB type C speaker, and as well as the SIM card slot. There's your triple camera setup we were talking about. We'll go ahead and get this powered on and we'll be back with you. All right, so we got it all up and running. You can see it's still installing some apps in the background there, but everything is definitely as smooth as you would expect from a OnePlus device. And like I said, this baby is a fingerprint magnet. Definitely is gorgeous looking. You can see it really is gonna catch whatever light is around it. So I actually have some lights on in the back. I'm not sure if you can actually see, it's actually pulling in those orange hues and light blue hues. Pretty cool, I definitely like the look. It almost reminds me of something Terminator-y for some reason, I don't know why, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, you can gleam at the new OnePlus font as well. Let me give it a quick wipe down as well. And you can see just how gorgeous that is again. Now I'm definitely looking forward to trying out these pixels in these new cameras. The fingerprint sensor as well as you can see working pretty quickly as you would assume the camera like I said go ahead and allow this to work it's supposed to have a little update looking like it's focusing pretty quickly let's see oh yeah 
definitely an improvement, even over the uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 series, um, especially on the Ultra. Definitely been issues with that. It's been well documented. So keep that in mind as well. Go ahead and turn the camera around. You can see us right there in the picture. It lit up the circle as well on the camera bump. One other call out. It did come with a pre-installed screen protector. You can leave it on if you want or take it off. And unfortunately, if you didn't notice right there, there still is not an always on display. That is something still coming in a software update, hopefully sooner rather than later. The front camera also is not capable of doing 4K video. The rear is, uh, so just keep that in mind as well. You're getting plenty of bands for service for all the major carriers here in the US. So you're not gonna have a problem with that. There is no millimeter wave for 5G though. There's a separate gen for that, a separate version, I should say, of the OnePlus 8 Pro for Verizon that will handle all that as well. I'll be doing a bunch of speaker tests and a whole bunch of side-by-sides as well. But let me know guys, what's your initial impressions on this OnePlus device? Is it something you're gonna pick up? Are you gonna lean towards the Pro? Have they really outgrown their whole flagship killer motto? Uh, it's something to be considered. Usually people would go for 